Whenever it rains, water drops can form on the rear camera and side mirrors, and it can make it really hard to see where you're going or what's behind you. Spray kicks up from the road to the bumper area, and since the camera is low, it's easy to get covered in water. In my previous video, I purchased rainproof spray from Glaco. You apply it to the mirrors and backup camera lens, and it worked pretty well. However, it does need to be reapplied if you rub off the coating. I mentioned in the previous video that Abstract Ocean offers a camera lens solution to this rain issue. I purchased one to test out. Here is the cover of the box. It says super hydrophobic rear camera cover for the Tesla Model 3 and Y. Repels water and grime buildup on the rear camera. One minute install, patented design. I have purchased several items from Abstract Ocean over the years and they sell some pretty good items, specifically the LCD protector, puddle lights, and bright LED interior lights. The back of the box contains some notes. Install on a dry day and thoroughly clean and dry the area. Ensure there's no obstructions. Please scan the QR code above for further details. Expected life will vary based on the distance driven in environment, but is typically four to six months. Fogging on the inside of the lens is normal. If there's a rapid change in humidity or temperature, it should clear once acclimated. I would say in my use over the last month, this has never occurred. If you take a picture of the QR code, you will get this website. This has a detailed description of the installation process along with some sample videos. Opening up the box by cutting the tape, I flip open the lid to reveal more info. It says to clean the camera cover, flush the lens area with clean water first. Ensure no grime remains on the cover. If needed, spray a clean soft cloth with alcohol or any screen cleaning fluid and wipe gently. Never use a high pressure wash near the cover. This includes brushless car washes. Inside the box, I find an alcohol prep pad for cleaning the surface where the cover goes. And this is a backup double sided tape for the cover in case it's removed and needs to be installed a second time if needed. And finally, there is a plastic bag that contains the cover itself. It is very lightweight. The shape allows it to go over the existing rear camera that is just under the trunk lid. There is a clear plastic on one end where the camera lens will be showing through. Underneath is a piece of protective plastic that is over the double-sided adhesive that surrounds the entire perimeter of the cover. This is needed to keep any water from entering the camera area. The exterior has a nice, soft, rubberized coating with a matte black finish. Here you can see the replacement adhesive next to it. First, I want to show you an example of before installing any coating or cover over the back camera lens. You can see that the raindrops obscure a lot of the detail and make it hard to see, especially when you need to back up the car into a driveway or parking spot. Here are some things I found useful for this installation. Cleaning wipes or car wash soap and a microfiber cloth. Rubber work gloves so you don't get the lens or cover oily with fingerprints. And finally, a screwdriver for removing the license plate. As mentioned in the instructions, install in warmer weather with humidity close to 50% if you can. Now I need to prep the area for installation. Take the microfiber cloth and spray some soap on it. I did this to remove most of the dirt that builds up in this part of the car. Look for a piece of tape that may be on the left of the camera location. Remove it if you find it. Mine didn't have any of this tape. I found it easier to work on this area if I remove the license plate and frame. Just use the Phillips head screwdriver and unscrew all four screws and take it off. Then place it aside. 
Since underneath the license plate was so filthy, I also cleaned this area. Totally not necessary, but it bothered me. Then I also cleaned the underneath where the handle is. Next, I opened the alcohol wipe and proceeded to clean the camera lens and the area directly around the camera. This is to make sure that the adhesive sticks well to the car. Ensure that you've thoroughly cleaned the area where the cover is applied and verify that it's bone dry before applying the cover. Now take the lens cover and place it in your hand so that the hollow part is facing up. There is a tab at the top. Pull this to take off the protective plastic off of the adhesive. Be careful since it's very sticky. When fully removed, hold the cover by the top as shown. Place it over the camera on the car. Make sure to center it and verify that it is perpendicular to the camera lens. Once you have it correctly placed, press down all around the cover to make sure that the glue adheres all the way around the edges. Here's a close-up view of the cover installed on the car. Note that the plastic on the cover will just touch the lens. This is so that there will not be any reflections between them that will possibly lower the quality of the image. Now reattach the license plate with the four screws and the screwdriver. After that, I'm done with the installation and that was really easy to do. As luck would have it, a couple days after installing the cover, there were several rainstorms. Here is one that I decided to start a drive when I noticed it was getting nasty outside while at work. I'll let you be the judge. It's interesting that after I ordered the lens cover, Abstract Ocean sent a series of emails getting me ready for the arrival. That's something I've never seen before when getting a Tesla accessory. Here is some of the text. Super Hydro what now? Fed up with your rear camera immediately becoming useless when it's raining? And then needing to be cleaned once all the crud has dried onto it? Well, finally, there's a solution. This patented camera cover for the rear camera of your Model 3 or Y encloses your camera and protects it with a super hydrophobic film that repels water and the dirt and grime that accompanies it. Check out the photos from our customers to see how effective it is, even in extreme conditions easy to install, and is optically transparent, so it has no effect on autopilot or color rendition. If you have a license plate frame, you'll probably need to remove it to install the cover, but can then put it back on. Note, similar to a ceramic coating, this product does have a limited lifetime that will vary depending on conditions, but typically four to six months. Cleaning it with a lens wipe will help restore and extend its function, but over time you will notice that it becomes less slippery, at which point it should be replaced. Now for a comment on that. If it does lose its effective coating, maybe you could use that Glaco spray that I did in the last video that could bring it back to life. I'll see when it happens later on. And back to the email. You're going to love it. 
we've learned a few do's and don'ts from prior installations, so we're definitely going to pass that along. Important, take the time to watch the full installation guide and video here, because the cover needs to be watertight, correct installation determines the success of the cover. The location of your rear camera is in an area of the car that experiences constant trauma. The air flows over the top of your Tesla, whipping around and smacking the camera right in the chops. That means all the dirty rain and other particulates in the air are constantly bombarding the camera, reducing visibility. Luckily, our camera cover fixes that, but it also means that the area is filthy. Then it goes on to describe some of the tips that I talked about earlier in the installation. It continues with, hold on to this email for when your cover arrives. Pick a nice dry day where the temperature is at least 68 degrees Fahrenheit or 20 degrees Celsius. If that's not an option, installing inside and or warming the area with a hair dryer is recommended. It's easier to install with the trunk open to eye level, so do that. Then, without removing the protective backing, get a feel for the installation area. The adhesive is very tacky, so you really only get one shot. But don't worry, we include a spare adhesive. After you've cleaned the area and camera lens with the included wipe, carefully remove, really slowly, pay attention to that the adhesive stays attached to the cover and not to the backing, the protective backing. Try to gently place the cover, and when you're happy with the position, apply firm, even pressure for at least 30 seconds to finalize the installation. It's normal for the camera lens to slightly push against the inside of the super hydrophobic film. Congrats, you're done. We'll follow up in a few days with some maintenance tips and tricks. Here is a close-up of the camera cover immediately after driving in the rain. Notice how the clear plastic is totally dry and all of the water drops on the surrounding area. It really does work. So that covers the unboxing and installation of the Abstract Ocean Super Hydrophobic Camera Cover for the Model 3 and Y. Easy to install and very effective in keeping the rear camera clean and resisting raindrops. I've been using it for a month and really have enjoyed the results. If you're interested in this item, I have the link in the video description. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.